Such a wonderful, peaceful morning here today at Radpad Building Land. <laughs> I'm so excited to get in there and get that bed done today. I mean, I, I had dreams about it. Um, it's just getting in there and, and the hardest part is welding up and getting the sparks in your face. Not so much in your face, but in down in places that it shouldn't go. Um, but I'm gonna do that first. Brian Tracy, Eat That Frog, great book. It means if you got a frog to eat, eat that frog first. Everything else will taste better. So I'm gonna get that done and then I get to work on the kitchen super rad building this island the center of the whole house where everything comes together so the cooking happens and it's presented on this table and everybody gathers around. it's the most it's the spiritual center of the rad pad so i'm going to put a lot of love and calm working into that today so i'm really almost makes me cry so that's what i get to do today amazing great day to be alive i hope everybody's alive and having a great day <laughs> Well, well, well. You want to do a quick little welding job, huh? I'm going to show you everything that I need to be able to work efficiently. I've tried doing it with less, but um, I need it all. I need every single part here. So I've just finished getting set up to weld the beds in the bedroom, and I'll show you uh, the supply list. Here we go. It starts with this. This is my little pack. So I've got two um, two squares. One is used for marking and one is used for checking the square of the piece that I'm welding. Um, a marking pen, or this is a, it's a steel file used uh, to scratch the line in it. Um, a pencil for writing down a cut list um, of, of the pieces I need to go and cut. I got my little knife in there, uh, measuring tape, and uh, that's it for what's on me. And then over here I've got my brush uh, for cleaning my welds, uh, my hammer for tapping them into place if necessary, my mask, super necessary, my gloves, can't weld without gloves, although some dudes do, they're crazy. Then a just a few um, clamps here. I've got the smalls, mediums, and larges. Um, I'll probably have to get the big, big one as well. Um, a magnet level, totally crucial. Uh, the welder itself, and I made it an addition, <coughs> two additions to the welder um, one is this is now the ground cable so it detaches so when I move the welder I don't have a big long cable and then I also took off the the ground clamp and I use a set of vice grips with a uh, this is from the the earthing rod that copper one I don't know if it'll focus on it but the copper one there it's an earthing rod attachment and that's what holds the cable all together and then that, that big um, vice grip can clamp to almost anything. Well, three inch and two inch, which is important for this job. Then I took off the, the power cable. I made it short and just made an extension cord. I put a three meter extension cord to it that then goes to a splitter over there with a uh, five meter extension cord that then runs to the power plug wherever you need. Um, then also a fan and a vice um, or a clamp holds the fan in different places wherever I'm working because I'm welding galvanized steel. There's some gnarly off gases that I don't want to breathe. I've got the pieces of metal that I've cut and measured and those are going to go up here uh, for the bed. So I've scratched the paint off and that's the third layer bed up there super rad um, and then this is the newest addition so as many batteries as possible always got one on charge I've got two on charge over there right now um, a disc for cutting cut off in case I need to fix something or cut something off and then a grinder for cleaning the welds and that it's battery powered is awesome then also I've got um, uh, eye protection because my welding mask doesn't flip to grind it's different I don't know I, I like it but but I don't like it because it doesn't do that. And then earplugs. And that's what you need to get set up to weld. So today's project is down here. Uh, I'm gonna be putting all the cross, uh, cross beams for the bed. And then over here, I'm gonna be putting uh, cross beams uh, for, the, for the plastic board that goes there. So you'll be able to climb up from where I'm standing onto this area and either go into that bed there or I'll have some little stairs on the side there and go up into this bed here 
or climb up over onto that bed up there. And that's three, three beds in one little room. And then huge storage down below, 12 inch deep by one meter by one meter pull out drawers, uh, three of them. So each person gets one of those uh, setups. So that's the bedroom. Well, this is the, uh, the jungle gym three person bunk bed extravaganza. And uh, I gotta do a few things. I'm gonna add the front wall. I'm gonna do a wood wall back here uh, for noise and for lights and stuff in windows and safety. Uh, back here, I'm gonna do another wood wall here. So I'm taking the grinder and grinding off the paint where I need to weld in the bars. And then in the front, that's an open window, so I'm going to put a little uh, railing on it so no kids, you know, pushes up against the glass. Um, and then I think I'll be done with the bedroom, pretty much, ready for... I'm adding a couple shelves down there. Uh, other than that, this bedroom is done, and I'm moving on to the kitchen counter, which is pretty sweet. It's a, uh, yeah, it's going to be a big centerpiece. Super special. Right on. I have fond memories <clears throat> growing up in uh, California. My dad would bring coconuts, not these kind, but the kind that were like hard and uh, fuzzy on them. And he would bring them and we would have so much fun trying to break them open. We'd use bottle corkscrew openers and stuff trying to get the juice out. We get the juice, nobody really liked it, but we'd get it and then he'd smash it on the floor and over and over until we could get the coconut meat out of it. Um, but we've been using machetes here. And you like hold it and you swing hard at your hand. That's the whole thing. You're like, I'm gonna try and not hit my hand by one inch. And we've been doing that for a while. And it dawned on me like, why don't we just drill a hole in it? We have tons of drills. So, thank you Trooper and your big ass bit. Um, we just drilled holes in them and put them on our water bottles. And now we're drinking coconut juice without uh, losing any fingers. Not that we've lost any, but I got rid of the table saw because people lose fingers. I'm sure people lose fingers macheteing coconuts. No longer. It just sounds like you're peeing. Finished up the bedroom. Other than one little piece I forgot, there is a safety rail that goes across the top window there. I've got it cut, it's all ready to go. I just didn't do it. So I'll drag the welder back up there. Luckily it's tiny and it's not that hard. So I'll do that in the morning. Uh, right now I'm going for a photo finish here. So the bunk beds, as you can see, are freaking awesome. It's like gonna be a land of super fun in there. Um, but right here, this is something special. This is gonna be a, an island in the middle of the space here that'll divide the kitchen which is on the back wall so you've got total stainless steel all the way from one side to one side a fridge a stainless steel sink with stainless steel drying rack like a commercial grade one and then a commercial grade stainless steel uh, prep food table and then your stove over on the corner there you got shelving on the wall and then this beautiful table that i'm going to build will be right in the center right right around here with four bar stools on it and that'll be like the woo the 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 center of the rad pad like the heartbeat of it all so i've never actually done this before i just know that it has to be done so i'm gonna do it um but yeah it's i've, I've got high probability of it working out but i'm going before the light goes on me it begins to rain at the end of the day I got really close with the table it was going everything was going perfect I made a few cuts that were a little long or measurements that were short I'm not sure what happened but either way I'm starting to make noise and I know when I make noise I'm not working like in the flow and like banging stuff so I'm gonna call it a night pack everything up and then do it again tomorrow and I think I'll get the table done so thanks for watching something interesting is gonna happen tomorrow too Puro Vida.